In this video, Bronkhorst Hitech, market leader in the field of thermal mass flow meters and controllers, presents the operation of an L-Flow series thermal mass flow controller. This thermal MFC is fed with 15 to 24 VDC. After power up, the LEDs on top of the instrument display its status. When the green LED lights up, the instrument is ready for use. Under the cover of the L-Flow MFC are the electronics made using SMD technology. The measuring part of the instrument consists of a patented laminar flow element combined with a thermal mass flow sensor. Once the instrument has been connected to the process line, the pre-pressure can be set. The body and the sensor are now filled with gas. The sensor consists of a thin capillary tube fitted with a heater and two temperature recorders. The heater heats the tube. As long as there is no flow, the two temperature sensors heat up evenly. The measured value is zero. This signal is forwarded to the microprocessor. The instrument receives a set point via the PC, PLC or analog port. This required value is compared with the measured value. If the required value is higher than the measured value, the PID controller will actuate the control valve. The electromagnetic coil exerts a force on the magnetic plunger holder. This force is in balance with the linear spring that normally keeps the control valve closed. If the plunger comes free of the orifice, the result is a flow through the instrument. The gas flows through the laminar flow element, which serves as a perfectly predictable flow resistance. This makes it possible to build and to calibrate an instrument for use on nitrogen and to model it for any other gas. The resistance of the laminar flow element also ensures that a small portion of the flow is fed to the sensor. This cold gas cools the first temperature recorder. The second sees the gas that has been heated by the heater. According to the law of energy retention, the temperature difference is a direct measure for the mass flow. The signal from the sensor is compared with the desired value in the microprocessor. The electric current of the coil is adjusted so that the distance between the plunger and the orifice is exactly right for controlling the desired quantity of gas. The control circuit performs this operation in a few milliseconds. In this way, a very constant and stable flow of gas is achieved. Bronkhorst Hitech would be delighted to share their experience and knowledge to work together to improve your process. Bronkhorst. Performance for life.